Let's do a mini review of the Roaring Fire Mini Sling Pack or Tactical Sling Pack, whatever they call it. I'll put the name in the description. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've had this thing about two years. I bought it to replace one that I got from a friend who was going to try to start selling uh, budget spec stuff like this. I'm assuming the one he got came from Wish.com or something like that. So, uh, it was uh, dirt cheap. It looked really good. Uh, I'll show some pictures of how it looked after three months at the end of this video. But I bought this one on Amazon after a friend of mine had done a review on some of their other uh, backpacks and such. So I liked the looks of the ones he was doing a review on and I found this one online because I needed something a little smaller uh, for EDC carry. And I have carried this EDC everyday carry uh, almost every day for two years. <laughs> and uh, it's irking both my son and my wife about that tag. I told him, I said, you know what, when I do a review I'll cut the tag off. So that will be in this video. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the features first. As you can see, it's got Molly webbing on the front. It has an adjustable cinch strap here with uh, Velcro for a patch. It has Molly on the sides. I'm thinking it's about five to seven liters. It's not very big at all. The strap is detachable and it swivels, so really easy to get it situated on your back there's a velcro closure here and a pocket here I'm not gonna unsnap it as I'm having to do this one hand and it's hard to snap back Probably the only thing I use this pocket for I usually slip a first aid kit down in here especially when I'm using a sling pack when I'm going biking you know bicycling whether trail or gravel forgot it today has a couple of d-rings one on each side some molly right here heavy duty buckles I will put the specs of the material uh, down below or as a picture at the end of this uh, I may if I can find it I will just use their picture from their website of course there will be a link where you can buy this excuse me from Roaring Fire themselves and Amazon.com has it right now for under 20 bucks under 20 bucks that is like a screaming deal and the quality of the construction is really good on this <clears throat> so, you know like I said I've been carrying an EDC for two years and the only wire that you can see on it it's a little bit of the tan is scraped off of the zippers I mean that's it no other damage or wear and tear to speak of whatsoever yeah. so it has a pocket here a double zippered pocket here and a main pocket here let's set the camera down and I will show you what's you know the inside the pockets All right, this small pocket, I usually keep the car keys in here, a mask for work, because you never know, spare lighter. There are no enclosures inside this pocket, it's just a pocket. The zipper's good and sturdy. You could obviously put what you want in here. For me, I never organize anything very well, I just throw it in there. this double zippered pocket it's almost clamshell I keep some baby wipes because you never know survival whistle a few cough drops ink pen 
has a pouch here. Yeah, I'll keep some gum in there. And on the inside of it, you have these two elastic straps. I keep that. That is my wife's nitroglycerin in case she starts having heart pains. Always got to keep that handy. I'm dripping sweat. <laughs> In the main pocket, big enough to fit a full size firearm pistol. It has a pocket here, which uh, you know I just keep various stuff in. I usually keep a Ziploc bag in there in case it starts raining while I'm on a ride. There's another pocket here, which uh, I just keep the envelopes for paying one of the bills. And a drain hole at the bottom. Zips right up. You just swing it around. Just like that. It does kind of bounce around a little bit as I'm riding or when I'm walking, sit down, stand up, things like that. Real simple to readjust. You just sorry the rest to it. Of course, when you need to get inside, you can turn it around like this. Easy access, anything that's in any of the pockets. After all this time, the zippers are still a little stiff. Oh, something I forgot. It has a little pouch here. But it is open ended. It just comes straight out the other side like that. I've been really, really satisfied with this. You know, for 20 bucks, uh, five to seven liters somewhere around there. It has been a great EDC bag, and I think it will last for years to come. You know, I highly recommend this bag. I highly recommend Roaring Fire uh, backpacks and equipment. I do have a bigger sling pack that I will be reviewing soon. I've had to think for a year I've never taken it out of the bag. <laughs> uh, I am the great procrastinator. The moment that everyone in my family has been waiting for, There we go, finally cut the tag off. It only took me over two years. <laughs> now, sorry this was just a short little review. Like I said, I am on a, on a bike ride today, rode some gravel, a little bit of trail. I will be doing a mini review similar to this on that little frame pack that I showed in my Instagram and as a post on the community section of my channel here in the near future, because I've got a couple of weeks on it now. Um, Jury's still out on how I feel about it. But anyway, appreciate you watching. Hope everybody has a wonderful week and a great weekend when it gets here. We will see you in the next video. Okay, uh, sorry, it's hot and I'm towards the end of the ride. Uh, sometimes I will, usually, actually when I'm, I'm dripping sweat on my phone. <laughs> Let's do a mini review. Hold up.